Uh, please welcome Louis C. King. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's always weird starting to talk, isn't it? It is, it, it, yeah. It is. Yeah. I mean, you have to do this all day. You have to talk to people and make conversations and stuff. That's right. I couldn't do that, I don't think. No? I have a hard time talking to people in my building, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because it's sad, though, because you want to make a connection with another human being, mm -hmm. and you end up talking about the weather. Yeah, yeah. Which is a cop-out, you know? <laughs> like the guy I always see in my elevator, this guy, I don't know, it's a fat guy from the fifth floor. Right, and I, that, I'll never know his name, I'll die, I won't know his name. <laughs> but I see him and we get in the elevator and we have that moment where you go, yeah. you know, because you've seen another, yeah, yeah. you've seen the person enough times to go, ah. Right. And there's that moment, and there's potential there yeah. to make a connection with a human yeah. being, you know? Maybe we'll say something <laughs> to each other, and then, ah, it's cold out. And then, and then you have a competition of who can say the most stupid thing about the weather. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, wow, I can't believe only eight months ago it was 50 degrees outside. Yeah. You know, just, yeah. ugh. <laughs> but what if you didn't talk about the weather? What if you didn't go there and you just let the moment linger and somebody may, would maybe say something. You get in the elevator, you're like, I haven't talked to my father in eight years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just with, yeah. yeah that's, maybe. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, I see. Well, well, how's the tour going? No, it's going. It seems to be yeah. going great. Yeah. I'm all over the road, yeah. and uh, I like it. I mean, I don't, I don't care about being on the road. I don't care where I am. Right. I don't care. I've been traveling for a living for 25 years, so I don't <laughs> care. I mean, do you ever no, feel like, I, wow, I'm in Miami? No, or, no. You don't care, Because right? you're never in Miami. You go, no. you walk through the back door, you say hi to the bus boy, the guy shines a light in your eye, you do your act, and That's you get out it. of town. Right, exactly. That's it. So the hotel and the, and, the, and, the, and the theater, I don't care. And some places, they want you to care. Like, right. I go to Chicago, and they're always like, oh, you got it. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't got to. I don't got to do the thing. No, but you totally, no, I'm not going to do that either. <laughs> I, I don't care. I, 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 I do it for, I don't do it for the money either, really. Right. Although I love money. You love the money. I yeah. love it. For fancy clothes? Is yes. that what it, yeah, yeah. Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, I spend the money. I don't save it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't believe in saving money. I think it's arrogant. It's arrogant to save yeah. money. Yeah. Because you could die. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's like holding in a, like, breathing, I'm not letting it out. I worked hard for this, you know? <laughs> right. Right. I don't, and I, it's not a good attitude because I have children. Yeah. And I should be saving for them, and I'm way not. <laughs> not saving? No. It's really bad. <laughs> I'm so not preparing for their future <laughs> or even near present. Wow. I'm wow. not, they have wow. no idea how close to oblivion they are right wow. now. <laughs> if, I, if I die tonight, they'll be homeless tomorrow morning. Wow. Wow. Yes. They'll get both pieces of news at the same time. Oh, man, that's a horrible Your thing. daddy's dead, uh, and get your and get out. Wow. <laughs> because, um... No, so why work so much if money is well, not an issue? Well, here's the thing. Why should they get the money? Yeah. <laughs> I did the shows. Why do they get the money? Right, right, yeah. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in raising your kids rich right. is the worst thing you can do for them, or really more for the people that they're going to impact later in life. Yeah. Because yeah. there's no way somebody who's raised rich is not going to be a piece of human being. There's right, just no really? way. I mean, I, right. and I know, I know... I know that's a wrong, bigoted thought. Right. But I, it, I keep it. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> like, you have some relatives that are a little racist, and you're like, well, I can't not have her over for Thanksgiving. She's right. 94, what, am I going to change her now, you know? <laughs> so I have certain thoughts like that that I shouldn't have. Yeah. Like, that if you're right. rich, you're definitely a piece of Right. Um, I mean, if you're raised rich, if you get rich through work. That's but, okay. But yeah. if you were a kid that got, was given a Porsche when he was 17, right. That's what okay. are the chances? Oh, he's so sage and cool, that right. guy who got a right. free sports car when he was a child. Yeah. I don't believe, like, and, and it's why the world is a little messed up, because right. until like a minute ago, historically, right. the rule was that if the king died, his kid got to run the country. That's the craziest <laughs> system. Yeah. Yeah. The king is dead, who of the whole nation? Can we count on to move us forward? <laughs> well, there's Copernicus. He's really smart. Nah. Let's see. The king's son is 17. He's been living in a castle and raping chambermaids for three years. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> let's, let's let him run everything. <laughs> right. 
yeah, yeah. He drinks chocolate for dinner. Right. You know? Wow. <laughs> drinks chocolate for he dinner? He drinks that's chocolate that's for that's dinner that's and that's rapes chambermaids. Is that, he, that what rich people do? They drink chocolate. chocolate. Yes, that's what they do. <laughs> he should run the whole place and then his kid after him. It just gets better yeah. and better. Uh, so I don't believe in that. I look, we'll, we'll take a break. Oh, OK. And we'll come back. More All right. Right. So you, you still like doing the road? Oh yeah, I mean it's my job. Yeah, yeah. And I, it's a heavy responsibility. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I mean people wouldn't think comedy is a responsibility, but it is, because a lot of jobs you affect one person at a time, but right. I affect sometimes thousands of people. Okay. And that's a, a lot. I mean, if you send, if you make a, an audience unhappy, you're sending them angry back to their community. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And sometimes it's a lot of people. I did a theater last. I mean, there's right now we we're responsible for about about a million people watching this show. I hope it's more than that. This work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how much it is. Yeah. Okay. Over okay. a million people. If it's a million, we're canceled. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe okay. five point five. Really? Yeah. 5.5 million people sure. are watching, so that means that we're responsible for them having a good time. Oh, right. That we could change history by being even boring. Okay. Like we could change it. There's enough people watching that it's a sample of someone watching right now will probably die tonight. That's how many people are watching. Right. Like right. that's enough people. Right. That statistically right. speaking. Right. Yeah. You can be pretty sure not those yeah. whole viewing audience is going to make it out of this yeah. calendar day. That's right. right. And, and, they're going to watch me. Oh, that happens. And that's yeah. going to be the and end of right. it. And, and, and Their last time. decision yeah. is going to yeah. be to not stick around for Jimmy Fallon or right. whatever it is. Yeah, gotcha, that's right. going to be the end of the, or to watch or whatever. Right. So that's a heavy responsibility. Yeah, that's a big responsibility. And I, I take it, it's my job. Yeah. yeah. I think you should do your job. Right. I think a lot of people don't do their job because mm -hmm. they don't like their job. I don't get that. You know, like if you go to a, like a coffee place and the, and the kid looks at you like, uh. And I'm like, I didn't come to your house to ask you for coffee. I, it's a coffee place. <laughs> you work here. Your clothes match the building. I had a right to expect that. <laughs> and you're closer. <laughs> you know, you're closer to the coffee machine. I don't know why, and I need coffee. I don't know why someone wouldn't want their job to go really well. Right. And I, I think usually it's because they're 20. Because they're 20-year-old 20 20 douchebags that right, don't right, want right, to do. Right. I am prejudiced against 20-year-olds. Right, really? Yeah, okay. because 19, you're still your parents' fault. Right. 20, you're technically an adult, but you still haven't done anything. Right. Like 20-year-olds at their jobs are always like, "This job sucks." Yes, that's why we gave it to you. Because you're 20. <laughs> You're 20 year olds old, you haven't done anything. You've never, you've just been sucking up resources. You've just been taking food and love and education and iPods and just taking it and judging it. Yeah, I like that, oh, that sucks. You're like a big orange on a tree that's rotting and the tree's like, get off, what? Yeah. <laughs> just, where do you wanna go? Like you're hanging on. <laughs> yeah. How are uh, no, if you're, yeah. If you're 20, yeah. you definitely have never done a thing for anybody. Right. Yes, you went to uh, Guatemala on a school trip and they told you you helped, but you totally did not help. <laughs> right, right, right. You were a way bigger pain in the ass. <laughs> right. You got your picture on Facebook with a shovel and they right. got screwed. Right. They hate you now. Well, how, how, how are your children doing? Are they all right? <laughs> How are they? My kids are good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they can't, on paper, they're great. They're two little white girls in America. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, what? Yeah. Sometimes I look at it that way. I look yeah. at them, I'm like, you can't say anything. Yeah. You're, you're doing awesome. Right. Just boilerplate, great lives. I gave my daughter medicine the other day, and it was bubblegum flavored, so that she'll take it. Bubblegum flavored medicine? Yeah, you get me like Tylenol, it's bubblegum flavored. Oh, it's not she, methadone or anything. It's no, 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 oh, it's bubblegum flavored. <laughs> I give her, she's got a fever, Tylenol, and bubblegum flavor, and she goes, ew. I'm like, F you, ew. <laughs> you can't say ew. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I guess it's, it's medicine. 
medicine. It's medicine, right, exactly. It's medicine. Most children don't have medicine. Right. Most children in the world, when they get sick, they die on a rock with a bear eating them. Right. That's, right. that's how they handle it. Right, right, right. And, Oh, he's got a sniffle, ring the bear bell and put him outside, whatever they do. Right. Right. You're a little white girl in America. You wear clothes made by children your age professionally. <laughs> you don't get to say ew <laughs> about your bubble gum medicine. <laughs> I never heard of bubble gum medicine. Well, oh. <laughs> you got the holidays coming up. Are you doing any any plans? Any no, you seem I, like a very I, holiday guy. I, look, and I just, yeah. I just want to say I'm not trying to say that if you're white you can't complain. Right. I'm just saying that if you're black, you get to complain more. Right, right. Because <laughs> you can't. There you go. No, don't, don't tell the band that. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 you can't, you can't, that's right. You can't take people's, like, historical context away from them. And right. everybody wants this to. Like, white people are always like, come on. It wasn't us. Like, they want black people to forget everything. Like, every year, white people add 100 years to how long ago slavery was. Yeah. I've heard educated white people say slavery was 400 years ago. <laughs> no, it very wasn't. Yeah. It was 140 years ago. That's two 70-year-old ladies living and dying back to back. <laughs> That's how recently <laughs> you could buy a guy. That's right. And it's not like slavery ended and then everything has been amazing. Yeah, right. Like it just. <laughs> I'm glad that's over. Oh yeah, it just ended like a clean <laughs> where you don't have to wipe. Just boom, and then it's just been parades and presents yeah, ever yeah, since. Yeah, exactly. You gotta, you gotta remember that if you meet a black person, they have gray hair. They remember a time they weren't allowed to use a certain toilet. So give them a little, you know, time to be cranky. And by the way, white people have our own thing that we, yeah. stuff that we went sure, through. Sure, sure. That, that hurt us that we have to cope with. Like when they took our slaves away. That was really <laughs> hard for us. And we're still, so it's pretty even. <laughs> so, it's, so it's even. Yeah. It's even. All right, be right back with Aaron Ralston. Louis C.K. <laughs>